Hey guys, it's been a while. I've been working on my new website, nomeditsu.com, and hacking my mind with AI music. Check out the project when you get a chance. But I had to come back and do this video because I finally got access to Comment Browser by Perplexity. And you know I'm a big fan of Perplexity. I did an hour-long tutorial on it. Definitely check that out too. But I've been trying to get an AI browser that actually takes actions, and this is the first one that actually does what it says it's going to do. And I have a use case that has already saved me hours of time. And this is just the first use case I found. We're just scratching the surface, but I had to come back and show you this so you could take advantage of it and just see the power that it has. So let's get into it. Nomaditsu. Okay, so how do you get it? You go to comet.perplexity.ai and there is a wait list right now, but I do have two invites to give away. So stick around till the end to find out how you can get yours. So what is the use case we're going to cover today? It is data entry. And I know you might think, oh, this is boring. Like, why would we do data entry? But this is exactly why we want to do data entry with AI, because it takes the drudgery out of this grunt work, right? This is going to automate so much work and save you so much time. So I want to show you how I've implemented it specifically with a concrete use case. I hate all these, you know, videos where they give you use cases that you would never do. So I'm going to show you exactly how I'm using it for my own site. So I got to show you my site briefly and how it's set up. So I built this site on Shopify and I vibe coded it. I did a whole article on this. So check that out if you want to learn how to vibe code Shopify. So the reason I built my site is because I was frustrated that when I searched Google and perplexity, it wasn't finding all of my lyrics for my songs. So I was like, okay, I'm going to put not only all of my songs on this website, but I'm going to have my whole YouTube library, all my articles. It's going to be a central point. And that's what's going to feed all the LLMs, all the AIs, all the search engines. And that's what I'm recommending to you guys. You should try to make your own site if you haven't already, because that's what's going to influence the AI is, you know, like when everything is AI based and they're searching the web, like you could influence what these search agents find and what the AI knows about you is what you will be in the future. So that's kind of the reason why I built this site. Now, uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you how the songs show up on my site. So if you go to AI music, you're going to see that all of my songs have been added here. And on the back end, how that shows up is I created these meta objects. Again, I've created articles about meta objects and how to vibe code them on Shopify. But basically, meta objects lets you create specific data types so that if you have a specific kind of blog post or thing you want to put on your site, and it has specific metadata. So for example, I have just YouTube videos that I want that are special, and I have music that I want to add to the site that has very specific metadata. So I'm going to show you what these meta objects look like. So for my music, you're going to see these are all the songs that I've added so far. And when you add a new one, you have all of these custom fields that you have to enter. So this is already quite convenient because you just have to add this in and then boom, it shows up as a song post with all, everything formatted nicely like this, right? So that's already pretty convenient. That's why I built this. I just wanted to be able to put stuff on my site as soon as I publish it. But this is actually still quite a massive task to fill in each of these fields because I actually have to go to a bunch of different places to find this information. It's not just in one place that I have to find this information. So for example, this is just a few of the fields that I have to fill in for adding a song to my website. And these are some of the sources that I have to get the information from. So it's getting it from a YouTube video link. It's getting it from YouTube music. It's going to DistroKid, my distributor for the music. I plug into Notion. I plug into Threadless for my merch link. So then there's, there's more. So this actually is quite a bit of time and a lot of cognitive load, right? Because you have to actually go into each of these tabs, right? You have to go in and then you have to go like, okay, get the embed URL, right? That's a bunch of clicks. Then you have to like go over here and try to find, okay, this is the publish date. Um, so, and then you go to like over here on DistroKid, you have to find all this metadata. Then I go to my Notion 
database to get the lyrics and stuff like that, and then get the YouTube music link, and then get the merch link. So you have to do all of that just to add the song to the site. And imagine now you have to do that. I have 45 songs now. So imagine I had to do this manually for a lot of these, but now I'm going to show you how Comet AI will do all that work for me. So we're going to do it live. I haven't added the latest song yet, so let's try it out. Okay, so when you open up the browser, you're going to have this button up here, Assistant. So we're going to click that and it reveals this Assistant panel. So I haven't prepared a special prompt or anything like that. I'm just going to wing it because it's that powerful. All right, so I'm going to use Super Whisper. I haven't covered this, but it's a cool app. So what Super Whisper is, is a speech to text app. So you could dictate your prompts without even having to type it. So let's try that out. So I'm going to say, I need you to fill out this form using the information from these tabs. Okay, so you see that it vibe coded out my instructions. And so now what we're going to do is just say at each of these tabs. So that's that. Okay, so what I noticed is that it didn't pick up DistroKid and my lyrics tab. So I'm just going to manually copy and paste these. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to copy and paste this. And we'll go back to here. Okay, so you got to make sure that you are on the form you want to fill out and you'll see it over here, right? So that's going to be included in the context. And then you're going to add these and I'm going to just add another instruction here and these links. Okay, so that's all we're going to give the AI. Let's see what happens. So now check this out. It's gathering album, product, music information accurately. So it's going through these sources, retrieving content from the provided links accurately to complete the form with relevant album, product, music information. And it's continuing. It's retrieving the information. Okay, it's fetching all the details. It's retrieving the lyrics. Now it's getting the product information from Threadless. It's getting playlist information. And okay, so now look at this. Okay, so now it's reasoning. All right. And now it's working. Now check this out. It's filling it in. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I don't think it knows the right image. Usually it skips the image, so this is interesting. Okay, so it actually said, okay, I need to close this modal because I didn't find the image. Look at this. This is insane. Okay. So now it's trying to find the cover art, but I didn't give it the cover art. So let's see if it figures it out. I might just have to stop this because it might just keep going forever if I don't stop it. Okay, it picked the wrong cover, but that's okay. And look, it even saved it. So I love that you could see its thinking process over here. So it's like tasks succeeded. Boom. And now you have a summary of everything it just did. Okay. So this is insane because that would have taken me at least 10 to 15 minutes. And sometimes it's not even just the time. It's it's the frustration. It's the, the cognitive load. It's the concentration you have to do to do these tedious click and copy and paste tasks. But you could see that it just did it right here. So I'm going to just fix the one thing I didn't instruct it to do. And usually it didn't do this for me, but I'm going to do this myself. I'm uploading the official cover for this song. Then just click on that. Done. And then I'm going to hit save. Boom. So now this thing is completely done. It looks like the lyrics were not copied. That's okay. 
Now I could instruct it to find the lyrics, right? I could just copy this. Usually it finds it, but let's give it one more shot. See if it finds it. I'll say the lyrics weren't correct. Can you copy from here? Now this is going overkill because I could have just copied that, but I, I just want to test it for you guys to show you it could copy it from a link. So now it's reading and boom, there. It just added the lyrics. It's reasoning succeeded and now it gives me the output. Okay. So that's what it did. It actually added the lyrics. I didn't have to do anything, just hands off. That saved me so much time. So now we're going to check on my site to see how it looks. Moment of truth. I reloaded the website here and let's scroll down and boom, there it is. We have my song added here. We have all of the information laid out here and we have the lyrics here. So of course I could finesse this. I got to add more detail about the song. I have to add the psychology behind it, but I just wanted to show you that that saved me so much time, so much headache and frustration of having to do all this tedious stuff. Now I just do it in one prompt and boom, it's all there. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you could see the potential for this. This is just the first amazing use case that I found. I'd love to hear which use cases you guys are excited about. And actually, that brings me to the invite. So I have two comment invites for you guys. If you don't have access to it yet and you want it, just comment below what you're excited to use Comet AI Browser for. And I'm probably going to use Comet to choose the winners. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Nomaditsu.